I want to welcome you to the Ely Farm. And this is a farm, I named it after my granddad and grandmother, who were both, of course, Ely's. And my grandfather owned farms on the White Marsh Road and uh, lost them during the Depression and came to live with us, as a matter of fact. So I named the farm the Ely Farm. It's just a relaxing place to go. And I share it with my grandchildren and my friends all the time. I married a girl next door. I live in the same house with three generations built by her grandparents. Our company goes back to the 1800s. My son's fourth generation. I'd love to come out here. The nice thing is to watch my grandchildren. The biggest one is 6'5", 253. You want me to shoot? They have a great time out here. They burn powder. I'll tell you what they get. They, they do a lot of shooting. I started coming down here as a little teen kid. It was a bad job was. At first, I knew everything and didn't want to listen to him. And then it got to a point that I realized I didn't know everything. And maybe he did know something. And this is kind of what Suffolk Iron was like back in 32. My great-grandfather, Riddick Robert Harrell, who started working here around 1894. So my grandfather started working here in 21. And dad's been here since 62. Pretty proud that I can say that I've worked with my dad every single day of my entire career. I really consider him my best friend. He's very active. All the men are glad to see him. This is where it all ends up, right here at the paint shop. And, and when nobody has anything to do, they come to the paint shop. This is it. They said when Mr. Harold hired you around here, there can no one else fire you. So really, I have a job security job. I've been in Suffolk Iron Works for 19 years this November. The Harold family has been good to me uh, with my disabilities from being in the service uh, and my time here has been outstanding. Extremely. Excellent wells, you know, I, I, this is good work right here. A lot of the success and the reason it's been uh, continued on is because of him, because of his leadership and because of all the, uh, all the great guidance. When I was a young girl, the winters were very cold at that time, and we had many ponds that froze over in the winter time. So ice skating was a fun thing we did. And <clears throat> I was ice skating down at Duck Pond, and he saw me, and he decided then he was gonna date me. He's been a big part of my life ever since. I can't remember when I didn't have John. He's always been a good dad, always supportive. Well, about the time that I wrecked the car two days in a row in the driveway, that one, <laughs> I saw what kind of dad that he was. He still loved me, even though I did that, and it was not the smartest move that I made. But uh, after he had a little bit of a freak out session, which was certainly justifiable, he uh, took care of the situation and made sure that I knew that he loved me. But that it was probably not the smartest thing that I'd ever done. If we were in court today and I was going to make a finding about John C. Hurl, <laughs> I would find him guilty of being an extremely valuable part of our community. Come on, Richard. A great citizen, a builder, a thinker, a creator. John Hurl personifies and exemplifies what a first citizen of Suffolk should be. I don't know how much video y'all can use, for God's sake. They're going to be so sick of John Harrell, they're going to speak to me again. You may think because he kids around so much that he doesn't have any serious interest, but he does. You, you can't be for so dumb to be in this business. He loves to read, and he reads avidly. It's the furthest from my office, that's what it might say. I'm not here to congratulate him again, he's gotten a lot of that. Did you realize how big his place was? I'm not here so much to tell you about all the different committees and things that he has been in, because you've heard about that. Come 
Morning. John's always been just a wonderful, wonderful person. I couldn't be happier for him as far as getting this award. And I know Mary Lawrence, Clifton, and Mary Marshall are tickled to death that he's got it. I can't remember very many times that he said no when someone asked for his assistance. So oh, I was just shocked. And uh, of course, if you look at the people that have done it before, excluding Billy Corey. And so, no, I'm just playing. I love Billy. I mean, you got Mills Goblin and people on a George Bird song and people that, that I've known for years and I look up to. And, uh, you know, it's an honor. This is the building I've been working on. This is an old building. You know, a lot of people don't know this about John Harrell. And I just really, really, because it's such a special occasion, I really, really wanted them to know this. He actually went to Virginia Tech and got a degree in industrial engineering. And a lot of people don't know that because he doesn't tell many people. So I just thought I would show you that this is actually true. This is his diploma, not someone else's. And it really did happen. Whenever uh, UVA loses in a game to, to Virginia Tech, whether it's in field hockey, football, basketball, he occasionally will call me and tell me, he says, Billy, I'm getting a tingling in my britches. <laughs> That's what he says. Now, I don't know what that means. I am convinced to this day that John didn't really graduate from Virginia Tech. I've never seen a diploma. Uh, I'm convinced he was, he applied at UVA wise and he was waitlisted. He didn't get in there. I'm convinced of that. A while back, some people investigated that checked in the archives up in Blackbird. And what they found was that for six straight years, John was the social chairman of his fraternity. It's also a documented fact that during those six years, they had the best parties they've ever had before or since. What we do is rattle that man's house over there. He's a nice guy. John is one of the most resilient people I've ever met, ever. He does what he says he's going to do, uh, delivers a good product. He's been involved in Southwood for his whole life. John, I'm just happy for you that you've received this award. You've been named First Citizen of Suffolk. I asked you if I had to call you Mr. First Citizen. You said no. So I think it's just a wonderful tribute to you. It's a tribute to the kind of person that you are and the life you've lived. It's a tribute to your family who's been a support to you and who you have supported all of your life. And I know that Virgie and Big Bob, if they were here and could see this, it would bring a tear to their eye and they couldn't be more happy or proud of you. Pop, I'm really, really proud of you. And uh, it's an honor to be able to work with you all these years. Initially, I think I said you're a legend in your own mind, but in my opinion, you are a legend. Uh, I want you to keep being your crazy self because this world is a much better place as you are. As my father-in-law, Harvard, would have said, when they made John Harrell, the good Lord uh, broke the mold and he threw it away because John Harrell is one of a kind. And I want to say, John, I love you, man. I love you. John, you and I have had a lot of fun over the years. I am very proud of you being selected as Suffolk's first citizen for 2017. That is quite an honor and well-deserved. John, I want you to know I couldn't be happier for you to get this award. You're very deserving. We are all happy for you. My granddad is someone that I have a really good relationship with. Um, I got to live with them a little bit this summer and work at Silver Car Works, which is, um, it was a really cool experience. Really, we have a good relationship. We always mess around with each other because he went to Virginia Tech. I go to Clemson. Uh, just messing around with football games and stuff. We got a game coming up against each other, so it should be exciting. Pop and I have a uh, good relationship. He's taught me a lot of things. He's uh, been taking me hunting and fishing to, since I was young. We like to go down to his farm. He likes to uh, come to all my football games and try to support me as much as he can. And he's also, now that I'm being a senior and looking to go to colleges, he's encouraged me to go to Virginia Tech. 
pop. You've always been there for everyone in your family. You're one of the most generous and kind and loving men that I know. Congratulations, this couldn't have happened to a better guy. I love you.